election time. Line up, you dirty little scandals. Ranks of five. Come on, move on it. Father, can you find me a master teaching the Kabbalah? I feel that I'm ready. Son, you're too young. You must study the basics before you venture into the world of mysticism. Isn't it bad enough you won't let me work in the story when I'm your only son? You can't convince me to not study the Kabbalah. Oh, Eliezer, why do you weep when you pray? I don't know. Tell me, son. Tell me. From that day on, I kept going back to the temple every day to talk to Moisha the Beetle. He taught me about the Kabbalah and became a close friend and even a mentor to me. Then everything changed. All foreign Jews, including Moisha the Beetle, were loaded onto train cars and deported to Saget. Eliezer, I don't want to live anymore. I came back to warn you. I'm dead inside. Moisha came back telling everyone horror stories about what happened after he was deported. No one wanted to believe him. Even me, his only friend, was doubtful. Soon we would see he was right. The Germans were moving into the ghetto. At first it wasn't that bad, but we were soon crammed in the ghettos. As soon as we didn't think it could get any worse, it did. They started to deport all the neighboring ghettos. We were next. We were packed in the cars like inhumane inanimate objects that just needed to be shipped. The cars were crammed, tired, hot, and a lot of air. We had no water and we went days like this. Fire! Fire! There's a fire! It's gonna consume us all! Well, I warn you, there's a fire! Calm down, crazy woman. There's no fire out there. I tell you, there's a fire! There was no fire. The heat and dehydration was getting to her. Oh my god, it's real! Now hurry up! Men to the right, females to the left! Come on, no slacking, come on! So I hold my hand so we can stay together. This way! Faster! Selection time! Line up you dirty little scandals! Ranks of five, come on, move on it! You there! No rations for three days for moving too slow. This was the first of many selections. You see, the Nazis had no use for any Jew who could not provide them labor. So, they were killed. While integrated, I was told to lie of my age to improve my chances of a fair commando and survival. So I did. Farmer, okay. You're good. Yo, get up there. In actuality, my dad was 50. It would be no use to the Germans. But was your former so he lied father. as well. He's also a farmer, sir. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Where are the bathrooms? Bathrooms? Don't ask for that again. I'm aware you have a golden crown. Open your mouth, please. I'm going to be extracting it. I can't. Why not? <coughs> sick. You're sick? <coughs> Go home, rest up, be back in a week sharp. Don't make me look for you.
it on the ground. You speak German? Yes, I do. I was trying to keep it a secret, but I saw you crying. Are you okay? Don't worry. Get on the ground. Father, stop resisting. Fight. I was furious at my father for allowing himself to become subject to one of Idex's beatings. I knew I should have felt empathy for him, but the camps had changed me far too much. During an air raid, two cauldrons of soup were left unattended. I witnessed the man risk his life to attempt to get to the soup, but he was unsuccessful. But oh, how I envied him. After this, the Nazis erected gallows for public hangings. Are you sure we should go through with this? I mean, he's a child. What if there's a revolt? No, please, don't. D don't. Don't. Not a child? Where is God? The public hanging really tested the faith of all others and I. I questioned the true nature of God and if he was actually real or if he was somehow murdered. How could he let a child be hung? Let's me take a look at your leg. To get to me. I discovered my foot had swollen up to a leg. size so Trying massive that I had to find a new shoe. I reluctantly went to the camp infirmary. I was scared out of my mind. I thought it might have to be amputated. I passed out during the surgery. When I woke up, I couldn't feel my leg. I began to freak out. There's no hope for me. You're gonna kill everyone. My leg was just numb from the procedure. I got the news that the camp was being evacuated. Everyone, ranks of five. Come on, start running. We don't have much time. Father, they're running. Should we go with them or should we stay here and have a chance of getting liberated? Hurry up. We'd have a better chance of survival if we go with them. This way. The march to the camps. Murder. Those with us on the verge of life and death. We ran for hours, non stop. Our bodies and life is been moving. Get a move on it! I can't go on anymore. Father, don't go to sleep. We must survive. Bring me some soup and coffee. Here's your soup and coffee. Water! Water! Are you gonna. Father, <clears throat> just trying to last through it till the
Keeping myself this way Life is ours, we live it our way Hold these words I don't just say And nothing else matters Trust I seek and I find in you Every day